Did you miss Sunday Tales, TikTokers? Great, because today we come back with a classic tale, Cinderella. We bet almost all of you are familiar with Disney's version of the story, but you might not know the original version of it, which is darker and more sinister. So pay attention! A long time ago, in a faraway land, lived a very beautiful woman. They called her Cinderella because she was always dirty and full of cinder from cleaning so much every day. But even then, she was very kind and good-hearted and always had a smile on her face. She lived with her stepmother, a grouchy and grumpy widow with two daughters who were her spitting image. Arrogant, ugly, despicable, and hated Cinderella for being more beautiful. They treated her like a servant while they enjoyed all her privileges. One day, a letter from the palace arrived. Albert, the king's son, would celebrate a gala to search for his future wife. Therefore, all the single women in the kingdom were invited. Cinderella got very happy and allowed herself to dream about being the chosen one. But she was not the only one. Her stepsisters wouldn't try out the dresses and jewels they would wear to the gala and started to argue about who would be the chosen one. Cinderella was observing them behind the door when suddenly her stepmother appeared to shatter all her hopes, telling her she couldn't go and that with the rags she owned, she could only sweep and scrub. Cinderella then went to her room and wept bitterly. <laughs> Fortunately, her lack was about to change. Through her tears, she saw a fairy godmother who sweetly asked her what was going on. When Cinderella told her about her miserable situation, the fairy godmother promised to help her. She took out her magic wand, moved it elegantly, and after touching Cinderella's body, her rags transformed into an elegant dress with beautiful slippers. Now she could go to the palace. However, there was a catch. At midnight, the spell would wear off and her dress would transform back into her everyday rags. Once Cinderella arrived at the palace, everyone was impressed at her beauty and not even her despicable stepsisters realized it was her, since they were used to seeing Cinderella all dirty and wrecked. The prince was immediately attracted to her and quickly approached her for a dance. And they danced happily for hours. Time flew by and it was almost midnight. The spell was about to wear off. Cinderella excused herself with the prince and went away, but as she was going down the stairway, one of her slippers fell off. The prince found his slipper later, and knowing that was the only clue he had about that woman's identity, he devised a plan. He sent out one of his servants to scour the kingdom, announcing that the prince would marry the woman whose foot could fit in the slipper. Many candidates tried the slipper on, but it didn't fit any of them. Then one day, the servant arrived to Cinderella's house. Her stepsisters were the first one to try it out, but their fat feet didn't fit. And when the servant was about to go away, Cinderella appeared. It was the prince's orders that all the young women in the kingdom had to try out the slipper, and when they saw that the slipper fit Cinderella's foot perfectly, they froze in shock. She was certainly the chosen one! The servant took her to the palace and a few days later, she married the prince. And that's how this young lady lived happily ever after, far away from her stepmother. What a nice little story, right, TikTokers? Cinderella is a fairy tale that has been passed around by word of mouth for centuries. The first version was written by the Italian author Giambattista Basile, but what made it more famous was the Grimm Brothers version. And years later, the story was popularized even more thanks to Disney's movie in 1950. However, as you might be suspecting, the original story is darker and more cruel, so listen up! This version takes place in China, and the protagonist is a beautiful young lady named Ye Shen. She had very small feet, which was considered a great symbol of beauty back there and then. Young ladies would usually have their feet bandaged, breaking their fingers so they wouldn't grow and could fit small shoes more easily. Ye Shen also had two ugly stepsisters who made her life impossible. When they were invited to a gala at the emperor's court, they didn't let her go. She didn't have anything to wear either. 
But then she used a magical fish whose bones could grant wishes so that the spirits would dress her and take her to the gala. She was the most beautiful there and was wearing gorgeous golden slippers. Once the spell wore off, as in the other version of the story, the young lady lost a slipper, which wasn't more than 10 centimeters long. The next day, the emperor started to look for the owner of the slipper. When he arrived to Geshen's house, the stepmother cut the toes of one of her daughters and strongly bandaged her foot so he could fit the shoe. However, once the daughter was being taken to the palace, she started to bleed and thus her leg was discovered. After bringing her home, the mother decided to cut off the heel of her other daughter, but the result was the same. Finally, Ye Shen tried on the slipper, which was a perfect fit, and then married the emperor. At this point, there are two different versions of how the story ends. Some say that as punishment for their mistreatment towards Ye Shen, the stepmother and the stepsisters were condemned to live in a cave for the rest of their lives. Another version says that the three of them were thrown into a well and were then stoned to death. So, you see, TikTokers, classic tales are not always what they seem and in many instances have a darker version that can really surprise us. What version do you prefer? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And if you want to see more Draw My Life videos, subscribe to our channel. See you in the next episode!